This is my model aerial tram. I'll give you a little background first and then explain what everything is. An aerial tram is a people mover uh, ropeway. It, it differs from a gondola or a chairlift in that it usually has only two cabins. Um, a standard aerial tram has two cabins. One goes up while the other one goes down. They meet around the halfway point and the cabins themselves act as counterweights to each other. So if you're hauling 100 people uphill and zero people downhill, you're actually only hauling the weight of the people because the tram offsets, the tram cabin offsets the weight of the other cabin. So this is a model. Um, it's not working yet, but it will be hopefully soon. This is the drive station. Um, I, I will only have one cabin on this system uh, because it's it takes twice as much to build the cabin, twice as much to build the other arms. Yes, I still have to build a drive station and a return or tensioning station. However, that's the minimum, so I had to build those anyway. This is a base with all the shivs, redirectioning shivs, and the arm. It looks like a crane, but it's a it's a static arm that the haul rope will ride on as it hauls the tram up and down. So this is a 3 8 plate base and I have some half by eighth flat and some half by half tube. I'm not quite done. Uh, for instance, I'm going to redo this with some tube to strengthen it. Maybe put a couple braces on here. Uh, but for the most part it's done. Um, so if you imagine this line here coming down from the other station, this will be a circular design so the, the rope will continuously circulate, but the, the tram will actually go only go up and down. So the, the line will just go like this, just a jig back. Uh, so this is a return line. It will not have anything hooked to it on this side. The tram will actually sit on the other side. So if you imagine this line coming down, it's redirected around this shiv, and these are just um, clothesline pulleys I found at Home Depot. Redirected around this one, bypasses this other one underneath here, goes around this dual shiv, comes back, gets turned at an angle, comes back through here, comes around this dual shiv again, bypasses this one, goes around the horizontal 90 degree, comes around as a vertical 90 degree, and then redirects to this other, which is pretty much in line with this one. So if you imagine this line goes up, this is what the tram will be pulled on, which is just a braided string. And I've also got some shivs that hold and support and guide the line as the tram comes into the station. The tram will sit roughly here and hang down. And I'll show you that in another video. The drive will be connected to here. This shiv will act as a uh, more like a, an extra friction point to help re not only just to redirect the line but with you with have two cables you have more friction to drive it with. Um, I'll probably put some rubber rubber lining on there to, to drive it and keep it nice and tight. So I will see you in the next video.